Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video of Cam's Resto Cars here, and today we are doing an, a complete tune-up kit for my El Camino here. I still haven't figured out the exact year, but uh, we're going to see if this stuff works. So what I've got here, I've got a nice uh, brand new air filter. I've got a magazine for reading. Um, <laughs> picked up some uh, automatic transmission fluid for when I rebuild the transmission, and then I've got some oil. I'm going to replace the oil. It's 10W30. And what else do we have in here? We've got an engine flush. I'm going to, or an engine fast flush. Dissolves sludge in five minutes, supposedly. We've got some spark plugs. Two packages, because it's a V8. Very good spark plugs. And then we've got a Napa Gold air filter. So, I think that's all. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And, uh... I hope you guys will enjoy it, uh, enjoy joining me on that. I think that's how you word that. I don't know. So under the hood here, it's going to be a little bit annoying trying to reach the spark plugs because they're actually way, way down here at the bottom where my finger's at. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to see if I can replace the spark plugs first, mainly on this side because that tells me where they're at exactly, which I still can't figure out where they're at. Uh -huh. Usually you can tell by looking through the wheel well, but the wheels aren't all... Oh, oh, they're way down here. Okay. This is going to be interesting, so let's see what happens. Alrighty, guys. I succeeded in getting the first spark plug out, and, uh, yeah, this thing is, uh, not doing so good. Look at that. That's the, uh, first spark plug I pulled out. This is probably original from the factory spark plug probably never been changed and it is really really nasty it's got a lot of black nastiness on it so it's a good thing i'm replacing these uh, we'll see what the new ones do to it it'll probably make it run a lot better all right so here's the new one compared to the old one uh, side by side. This one's a little longer, so I'm wondering if it's going to fit. But uh, that's that's an that's a major difference. Good grief! Look at that. That's all rust and black nastiness, and this one's clean. So I'm really hoping this one will make it run a lot better. I mean, after I get them all in, this one might make it run better, but uh, won't notice much of a difference if I just put one in. So we gotta do that to all eight, and uh, it's gonna be quite the chore. So. Let me keep working on it. Alrighty guys, there's the second one. Looks exactly like the first one. Also very rusty and black and nasty. So let's get the other one installed. Alrighty guys, I got the third one out. Also very dirty. And uh, so these spark plugs are a little hard to replace uh, just due to the fact that they are located in very odd spots. Like I wish they would have made it easier to uh, to remove them, but I guess they don't. And there's the new one. A lot better than the old one. Let's put it in. Alrighty guys, I got one side done, and here is the result. All those, they're probably original to the motor, and uh, they are really, really nasty. So, we've got one more in here for that side. I did the uh, driver's side, which was a lot easier than the passenger side, as you can see. It's more open and then over here on the passenger side oh boy I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing there but uh, I'll figure it out and if I have to remove some things oh well but uh, for now I'm gonna see what I can do over here alrighty guys there's the uh, one of them from the other side fairly dirty again not as black as the other side but uh, oh well and uh, here's the old air filter, by the way. Rather nasty looking thing. So we're going to replace that too, but after I'm done with the spark plug so I don't get carried away. Alrighty guys, there's uh, number two. And uh, I'll uh, ugh, grab a new one and throw it in there. Number three of four. Here's the fourth and final one. So, got them all out. I just have ugh, one more put you back in and uh, we should be good to go to change the oil. 
Alrighty guys, I got the spark plugs all replaced. It took me like an hour because it's kind of in a confusing spot. So now we're off to the oil, which I'll bring you guys under here. Ah, this is the oil pan, there's the oil filter, and here's the oil drain. So drain that, take the oil filter off. Pretty simple. Ugh. Come back up here. Put the new oil filter on, put the new oil in simple as that and uh, start it up see how it runs and then we'll do the engine flush so I'll uh, do that real quick show you guys if you want or you don't really have a choice but uh, also before changing the oil this is the oil uh, filler or the oil dipstick area and I like to take that out because it allows air into the oil area so it drains a lot quicker uh, just a little tip I can give you guys but uh, yeah, let's get started on that. Alrighty guys, there's the old oil. There's the oil bolt. I'll just let that drain real quick for several minutes and come back to it. While the oil was being drained, I thought I might take a look at the new air filter. So, there's the old one, there's the brand new one, and there's a the deck. Uh, but, uh, yeah, new one looks really good, so it's just gonna stick it right in there, if it'll go, right there. Perfect. Alrighty guys, the oil's all drained, but I can't get the air uh, oil filter off, so we're going to use this handy dandy oil filter removal tool for that. Alright, oil filter removed. There's the old one, there's the new one. Alrighty guys, there's the oil and the new oil filter, so be sure to lubricate the gasket so you get a good seal, and then uh, hand tighten it, don't tighten it with a tool. Alright guys, my uh, GoPro ran out of batteries, but what I like about these Chevy 